Well, what happens tonight in New Hampshire could have a major impact on North Carolina's upcoming primary. Yeah, after the Iowa caucus, the Republican race is already down to just two people. If that number dwindles down to one person, there's little doubt it will have an impact on voter turnout in our state. Remember how crowded those early debates were, even without the front runner on stage? Three months ago, it did not seem like we were going to have a Republican primary that looked like this. There were over a dozen candidates in. After votes in only one state, we are down to two people. With the looming question tonight, can Nikki Haley's campaign survive until her home state of South Carolina's primary? If not, don't expect Super Tuesday to be so super, North Carolina included. I think it means that the Republican election electorate is going to be less activated. Frankly, there's going to be probably fewer Republicans who turn out to vote. It's just not going to be a very competitive primary unless somehow Nikki Haley is able to thread this needle that looks impossibly small. That's going to affect turnout greatly. I mean, we don't get huge turnout anyway on primary elections, but when there is not um, at the top of the ticket um, a closely contested election, you know, then we're going to see maybe that number drop by half. Which can impact the down ballot, even with high profile primaries for governor, attorney general and a crowded Republican field of 14 candidates for Congress in the 13th district. Perhaps one effect we might see is these unaffiliated voters who might have gone to the Republican primary if that looked like the more interesting primary. Perhaps a few of them now choose the Democratic primary instead. They're still voters. They still want to show up, but they might just choose a different ballot. Donald Trump supporters may still come out to signify their support for the former president, but there is also the risk of voter apathy for those Republicans and unaffiliated voters who don't support it. But that means, you know, Haley, DeSantis and others who have dropped out, their voters might say, well, what's the point of voting? So we won't come out. And that could affect the uh, the 13th district, uh, any statewide race. So it, it does have an impact on the North Carolina primary elections.